Uh, we do have Matt McFarland live as well, right downtown. He's been watching and witnessing the people who have been uh, showing up ahead of the ceremony. So uh, let's see what he's seeing right now, Matt. Well, Nicole, I just stepped out of the way so you can see the procession has just arrived here at St. Mary's Church uh, for this service. You can see the motorcycles uh, leading the way, firefighters, uh, family gathering, loved ones, uh, all standing, firefighters at attention, uh, saluting as, as the procession uh, makes its way here uh, to St. Mary's Church. We have, uh, it's an escort of uh, fire police from across the state, New Haven State Police, uh, even members uh, from outside the state here as well uh, with this escort uh, for firefighter Torres. Um, we've seen uh, police from Suffolk County, Long Island, uh, Waterbury here in Connecticut, Again, we're told this is going to be a Catholic funeral service uh, here at St. Mary's. Um, and taking part uh, in the service will be led by Martin J. O'Connor, who is a deacon here at St. Mary's. Uh, very uh, special emotional connection to him as well since he is a former chief uh, here with the New Haven Fire Department. Um, so he will be leading this service along with Father John Paul Walker uh, here at St. Mary's. Um, so again, um, very somber moment here in New Haven uh, as they start to get ready uh, as the procession makes its way closer here to St. Mary's Church here in New Haven uh, as thousands of firefighters from around the state, the Northeast, uh, and across the country uh, coming to honor a man who gave his life, uh, it was a week ago Wednesday, uh, responding to that fire on Valley Street, uh, rushing into that uh, multi-family home in an attempt to save people who were trapped at the time. Um, those people were rescued. Sadly, firefighter Torres uh, gave his life. Uh, we're told that um, Lieutenant Samad Rankins, uh, who was also injured and hospitalized, he will be here today uh, to pay his respect as well. And you can see uh, firefighters continue to stand at attention uh, as the procession eases its way here down Hill House Avenue, you can see some flashing lights uh, and the fire truck making its way here uh, to the church. As firefighters honor a man who uh, risked his own life, eventually uh, making the ultimate sacrifice uh, to save others and uh, we'll just let you take it all in right now. see right now here is engine six uh, this was the engine that firefighter Torres was a part of uh, this was his fire company and behind them are the chiefs and you can hear the bagpipe starting to play
can hear the bagpipes and drums making their way down Hill House Avenue. Uh, the Fire Department of New York is here uh, as they slowly make their way down Hill House Avenue towards the church. Uh, leading the way right now, you can see Fire Chief John Alston, um, uh, who before coming here to New Haven, spent time in Jersey City as a firefighter there, so he said he had a, quite a relationship with the Fire Department of New York, uh, leaning on them, reaching out to them to help during this difficult time uh, to make sure that they're able to um, pay tribute um, to firefighter Torres while they grieve. There's Chief Alston um, with um, the fire commissioners here in New Haven. And 